V Rising is a game that released May 17th, 2022, only, only six months ago from when making this video. This game was fucking lit, okay? Let me let me tell you some things about V Rising. This was a vampire survival crafting game that took ideas from so many different games. I'm talking Valheim, I'm talking Rust, I'm talking Minecraft, and on top of it, they added the most unique camera perspective you could have for a survival game. This was a really fun ass game, man, especially with friends. And even though there arguably are some problems with the late game grind, there is a plethora of content to explore pvp and pve both supported over 45 bosses to fight the game is is guaranteed 65 70 plus hours of content and while you may be satisfied with that and, and you may say why why is this video even being made then the game currently has 3,500 players actively on steam and that might be confusing for a game that is genuinely a a solid 8 out of 10 experience uh an indie game and it's only 20 dollars we've seen other survival games that aren't even single player strive way better than this and this game that has multiplayer content concepts is more dead than any of them. So let's talk about the downfall of V Rising. Let me repeat again that this game is good as shit. It has very positive reviews on Steam. Almost everyone who plays it enjoys the game. It's not hard to run. It's really, really a fun, unique survival game. However, the game failed to execute one of its most important parts of the game correctly and that's the multiplayer it's not ridiculous to suggest that the rising could have been a only pve game and would have still been just as successful and it feels like they made a pve game first and then kind of threw the pvp on top of it for the mass appeal you see in v rising because of the excessive grind there is definitely a massive power gap that is is pretty hard to get past i'd relate this closer to the power gap of arc the alphas on your server the alphas that are super strong are almost unbeatable and the game gives you the tools to be unbeatable. See, in V Rising, you and your clan can acquire soul shards. You see, soul shards are buffs that you can get from killing the hardest bosses in the game. Now, there's three shards, and there's only one on each server. But guess who owns those three shards? The strongest person on the fucking server. Let me give you some of the statistics for what these shards do. Soul Shard of the Behemoth increases movement speed by five and grants 20% increased resource yield. Okay, that's absolutely huge. Now you're farming faster than anybody else in the game. Soul Shard of the Winged Horror increases silver and fire resistance by 50, spell power by 10, and crit Critical spell strike rate by 5%. Soul Shard of the Solaris increases sun resistance, primary attack speed, and physical power, literally making you just hit harder and faster. You see, if you're going up against someone with all three shards, it's unlikely that you're ever going to be able to beat them. Now, the goal of the game is to go after the shards, you know? it's You can see where the shards are on the map, allowing you to go attack the people who own them. But the actual chances that you raid them successfully and take the shards is not happening. This is a problem that's unique to survival PvP games. Many games have ways of solving this power issue, mostly by wiping your server every couple weeks, but other games really don't, and that is frustrating for most players. You have to understand that not everyone has a ton of time, and the grind they set for this game was simply too much, and it was too fast. People got strong way too quickly and took over everyone way too fast. This was the first issue with V Rising. The PvP is arguably not even the worst part of this game's downfall. The developers truly led to this game's demise. See, V Rising at one point had 150 thousand people actively playing it on steam that is a really good peak for a game that's only twenty dollars that came out of nowhere and is an indie game you're looking at pretty good numbers from the start as of today in early december there has not been an update for v rising in a month there has not been one v rising content update not one the game has been out for six months and we have not seen a drop of content. Now you might be okay with this. You might be like, okay, they're taking a while, but not any content at all. All they've been doing is dropping occasional patch notes and not even often. The last patch was literally more than 30 days ago. And the last patch before that was another 30 days. They've dropped us a DLC furniture pack last month. That was it. Absolutely unacceptable from a game that has literally still so much going for it i talked about valheim on my channel the other day and how they took a while to get content out this game is taking even fucking longer they've given us some insights into what the future looks like but they have not given us any time of dates any type of idea on when we could be looking forward to this content leaving v rising the same game that it was when it launched this is sad this game has awesome weapons awesome spells and an awesome design yet we get nothing new with it we've been using the same content that we've been using since launch and that gets boring this game 
game has amazing spells and weapons, and yet they've added nothing new. Uh, no new mobs, no new bosses. There's so much that you can tag on to the end of the late game grind that would just make the game more fun. These two things together have directly led to V Rising's low player count and likely its death. If you look at the discussion pages under their posts, you can see that people are so mad. I'm glad I refunded this game. No new content since release, and these updates are just bug fixes and minor additions. Pretty disappointing so far. Any news about content updates? Let us know, please. Stop being silent about that. They have literally dropped nothing. Did these developers really just drop an indie project? called it early access, got some hype, got some money, and then run? I almost feel as if early access developers should be obligated uh, when they're using a platform like Steam to sell their game to actually develop their game to a complete state. Because the fact that people can just kind of make a, a pretty solid game, call it early access, say that there's going to be a ton more coming out, and then just run away with it, and then, you know, you get it maybe in 10 years, I don't think is fair. That is the reason V Rising has fallen. I absolutely fucking loved this game when I played played it oh my god it was so fun to play with friends what a good experience and there's so much potential still there is but i do not see the developers fulfilling it and i think it's safe to say this game is a lost cause overall guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe down below let me know what you think of v rising and without further ado guys i'm trello and i'll see you in the next one peace out